wow see how pure this nail slime looks well you can also get this extracted over there from just as little snails as this using the snail stimulating solution and the slime stabilizer so based on popular demands in this video i'll be showing you how to make the snail stimulating solution and the slime stabilizer just like the ones i used in the previous videos i uploaded so if you are new to the channel i'll be giving you links in the description box below where you can click and view the previous video so you learn how to use the stimulant and also you learn the stimulating sequence so remember to like and subscribe to the channel to enjoy more useful content i'll be uploading in the future and without wasting much of our time let's get started i wouldn't be using the fvdt stuffs because i would love to make this as simple as possible basically all you need is a scale to weigh things you'll be using and for safety and sanitary purpose you can decide to use a hand glove so out of all the five ingredients i mix together to make a standard stimulating solution this is the major one you can't do without citric acid just like the name sounds citric acid is a weak organic acid found naturally in citrus fruits such as orange lime and lemon but why go through all that stress when you can get the granulated form so in this video i'll be using the granulated form of citric acid as to get the accurate results like i said i mix up to five natural ingredients to make the stimulating solution but you can also get a good result if you use only the citric acid and for you using the citric acid you need 5% citric acid in the solution you'll be using that means if you are to make a liter of stimulating solution a liter should weigh around 1 kg so if you are to make a kg of stimulating solution you measure out 5% citric acid that means a kilogram stimulating solution will contain 50 grams of citric acid so having measured this out just like i did in the video i will be measuring now the other ingredients i'll be using in the stimulating solution well you need not worry yourself about that <laughs> as the citric acid alone will work just fine for you after measuring the citric acid you would be using place a container on the scale fill the container to up to half of the weight of the final product you are planning to produce that means if you want to make a kilogram stimulating solution you fill the container to up to 500 grams of water just like i did in this video for the observant ones who notice the change in the color of the water i'm using that's because i've already mixed in the other ingredients in the water so in your own case that you'll be using only citric acid use pure water or distilled water so after you fill the container to attain half of the weight the next thing to do is to pour the citric acid you measured earlier and you can use a funnel to guide this so that the citric acid won't pour away then use water to rinse the remaining citric acid in the funnel into the container remove the funnel and shake the container until the citric acid dissolves completely in the water to form a clear solution now gently add water to round it up to 100% in this case 1 kilogram if you are using this type of scale you should be looking at a thousand grams so gently add the water so that you won't exceed that weight in my case when the weight is approaching a thousand gram i switch to the wash bottle so that i use the wash bottle to drop the water gently so as not to exceed that weight and have that accuracy and voila a thousand gram give it a little shake and there you go this new stimulating solution you can store this away and you can store this in a bottle like this for easy application now you can confidently go ahead to prepare this new stimulating solution following the guidelines in this video and with the help of the previous video i uploaded you can test the stimulating solution i would love to hear your outcome in the comment section below but if you want me to 
released a video where I put the snail stimulating solution to test and also in the video you'll probably be learning the right quantity of the stabilizing solution to use per liter of slime extracted. So let me also know in the comment section below and also I would love to keep things short so this is where I'll be ending this video. So remember to like and subscribe to the channel to enjoy more useful content I'll be uploading regularly and to stay notified as soon as I upload such video. So, see you next time. A peace.